The following video is intended for mature audiences. It contains horror elements, adult themes, and language that might not be suitable for younger viewers. The zombie subgenre has secured a solid foothold in the horror realm, providing filmmakers with an opportunity to not only depict the dread of The Walking Dead, but also explore the darker aspects of human nature. Hector Hernandez Vison's 2017 film, Day of the Dead Bloodline, is a prime illustration of this exploration. The film borrows heavily from George A. Romero's acclaimed 1985 classic, Day of the Dead taking viewers on a gory journey through a world teetering on the brink due to ravenous zombies. The movie sticks closely to key elements typically associated with zombie films, graphic gore, extreme violence, and constant suspense. But it brings new insights into survival and the blurred line between man and monster. As someone who's recently taken a deep dive into zombie cinema, I found Day of the Dead Bloodline thoroughly enjoyable. It delivered exactly what I was looking for relentless horror, disturbing visuals, and an engaging narrative centered on survival. What sets this film apart is its innovative approach toward traditional zombie tropes by rooting them in a more tangible, psychologically intense reality, a reality that feels eerily possible and unsettling amidst our current fight against viruses. Zombie movies function within their own set rules and expectations. Day of the Dead Bloodline largely respects these norms while adding a unique touch. As expected in any decent zombie movie, there's plenty of gore, blood-soaked corpses and gruesome depictions of rotting flesh. The zombies or rotters as they're known in this universe exude repulsion, leaking fluids, snarling faces, with each grotesque detail amplified to elicit the visceral disgust that genre fans crave. The first thing you notice about this film is its unwavering dedication to visual horror. The zombies deliver perfectly, gnashing teeth, lifeless eyes, and a distinctive guttural hiss that sends shivers down your spine. The makeup and practical effects team deserves praise for the morbid detail bestowed upon these creatures. From neck-biting scenes to intestines spilling out, the grim spectacle of decaying bodies, Day of the Dead. Bloodline offers all this in abundance and more. The familiar horror elements in this story are taken to a whole new level, with an impressive amount of detail that even seasoned zombie fans will appreciate. However, this movie isn't content with just showcasing flesh-eating hordes. It introduces a unique premise centered around one specific rotter, adding a deeply unsettling layer to its narrative. The story follows Zoe, a medical student turned researcher haunted by Max a figure from her past who has transformed into an intelligent, semi-conscious zombie. His obsession with Zoe drives the plot forward, introducing a level of psychological horror that goes beyond typical zombie narratives by offering an antagonist who is more than just another mindless flesh-eater. This departure from standard zombie tropes is what elevates Day of the Dead bloodline above ordinary zombie cinema. It taps into deeper psychological terror Zoe isn't merely running from the dead, she's pursued by a monster that knows her intimately. This added layer of fear gives uniqueness to the film and keeps the tension high as Zoe struggles with her dual roles as a doctor seeking a cure and as prey, attempting to escape her former tormentor. One interesting aspect of Day of the Dead, Bloodline is its exploration of humanity's fight for survival in a world overrun by death. As society collapses under apocalyptic stress, we see moral decay and desperation creeping through the cracks in civilization's veneer. The military outpost, where most of the film takes place, is a small-scale representation of this deteriorating world, with soldiers and civilians clinging to the remnants of a civilization long past. The group dynamics at the outpost reflect the psychological toll of living in constant fear. Paranoia is widespread. Trust is fragile and every decision has life or death consequences. 
Zoe's role as a researcher presents an interesting moral dilemma. Should they risk lives in pursuit of a cure or focus solely on survival? This tension intertwines with the constant threat from rotters to create an oppressive atmosphere that maintains high stakes throughout the film. The character's struggles in the film parallel the fears we have in the real world about pandemics and societal breakdowns. As we watch Day of the Dead Bloodline, these themes take on even more weight as we see the characters fighting for their survival, struggling with isolation, and desperately seeking solutions to the deadly pandemic. While undoubtedly fictional, its portrayal of a world crippled by a virus, albeit one that zombifies, resonates differently today. It's hard not to draw parallels between the film's apocalyptic setting and our recent experiences dealing with uncertainty. For the characters in Bloodline, survival isn't just about dodging rotters, it's also about preserving their humanity. Zoe's relentless quest for a cure serves as a beacon of hope amidst grim surroundings, but puts her at odds with those resigned to their fate. This moral conflict adds depth to the film and prompts questions about what it means to be human in a world that has seemingly lost its way. Day of the Dead. Bloodline stands out in the zombie genre due to its unique character development, especially with Max. Unlike typical zombies, Max is not just a mindless creature. He's an advanced form of zombie with intelligence, memory, and a disturbingly human-like obsession. His previous infatuation with Zoe creates an unusual psychological horror that is rare in zombie stories. Max's mental agility makes him a powerful enemy, and his connection to Zoe brings a chilling edge to their encounters. He's more than just a monster. He's a relentless pursuer. This dynamic adds constant tension throughout the film. The threat levels are heightened as Zoe must avoid not only regular zombies, but also deal with the terror of being hunted by someone who stubbornly refuses to let her go. Max's character raises interesting questions about the virus creating these zombies. Is Max an anomaly, or does his semi-conscious state suggest potential evolution for other zombies? The film leaves this question open-ended. Max serves as an unsettling reminder that the line between human and monster is shockingly thin. His obsession with Zoe gives this film a distinctive psychological angle that sets it apart from others in its genre. Of course, no zombie film would be complete without plenty of gore, and Day of the Dead, Bloodline delivers on this front with graphic details. The special effects department deserves praise for providing enough blood and guts to satisfy even hardcore horror fans. However, what truly sets this film apart is how well it incorporates gore into the storyline. It never feels overdone. Indeed, there are graphic scenes involving neck biting, gut spilling, and similar gruesome images associated with zombie stories. However, they always contribute to plot development. The violence highlights the high stakes. Every interaction with zombies is filled with peril, and the film doesn't shy away from showing consequences. In a genre often reliant on shock value, Day of the Dead, Bloodline strikes a commendable balance between graphic violence and storyline. The brutality is intense, but it's also purposeful. It emphasizes the frailty of life in this dystopian world, keeping viewers on edge as they watch the characters fight for survival. Recently, I've been watching more zombie films than usual. Among them, Day of the Dead. Bloodline stands out as an enjoyable and compelling addition to the genre. It has all the elements you'd expect in a zombie movie. Graphic violence, intense gore, and constant suspense. What sets it apart is its exploration of psychological themes alongside its typical horror elements. The film introduces a new idea, a semi-conscious zombie who relentlessly chases the protagonist, adding a fresh twist to the standard formula. In terms of survival in an apocalyptic world, this film resonates with modern audiences due to our current global situation. While some parts of the story might seem familiar to longtime fans of zombie movies, Day of the Dead, Bloodline creates its unique place within the genre. It delivers on its title's promise by telling a blood-soaked story of survival that keeps viewers hooked from start to finish. A standout aspect of Day of the Dead, Bloodline is how it delves into deeper psychological themes amid scenes filled with blood and fear. At its core, this film explores humanity's struggle against impossible odds. 
the characters are constantly fighting, not just against decaying enemies, but also their own emotional and psychological struggles caused by their desperate situation. This theme of survival under extreme conditions is common in zombie narratives. However, Bloodline goes further by examining its characters' internal conflicts, particularly through Zoe and Max's relationship. Zoe's determination to find a cure despite her military outpost's grim outlook brings hope into the storyline. Her journey represents resilience and courage, even when faced with personal trauma, making her an engaging protagonist. On the other hand, Max represents a complete loss of humanity, both physically and mentally. His transformation into a rotter doesn't entirely erase his memories or his obsession with Zoe, making him a uniquely terrifying antagonist. His retention of some cognitive abilities combined with his horrifying zombified state creates a lasting horror experience. Max's predatory behavior emphasizes the unsettling truth that sometimes the monsters we create are the most familiar to us. In Day of the Dead, Bloodline, director Hector Hernandez Vicens has expertly crafted a strong addition to the zombie genre, one that respects Romero's classic while adding new elements to keep the story fresh and engaging. The film's focus on survival, humanity, and psychological terror, along with its graphic portrayal of rotters, makes it a must-watch for fans of zombie films. While Day of the Dead, Bloodline doesn't revolutionize the genre, it fulfills its promise of constant tension and gore while including enough unique twists to entertain even seasoned horror fans. In our post-pandemic world where themes surrounding infection and survival have become more prominent, this film holds particular relevance by adding a layer of realism to its fantastical narrative elements. If you appreciate zombie films or are looking for a thrilling horror movie that fearlessly explores darker aspects of human nature, Day of the Dead, Bloodline is worth your time. It may not be a groundbreaking masterpiece in cinema, but it offers an adrenaline-filled journey soaked in blood that will leave you contemplating mankind's closeness to monstrosity. For fans of zombie movies, this film is a valuable addition to the ever-growing list of post-apocalyptic horror and deserves a place in your collection. Day of the Dead, Bloodline is a zombie horror action sci-fi thriller that is one hour and 30 minutes long and is rated R. The Southern Underworld gives it five bloody knives. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching.